Hello, I've been doing a little bit of experimenting with using ArduPilot in Acro mode to fly around the farm a bit. Actually, I've only done one flight so far, so this is this is the second flight, so I haven't really done that much experimentation. But I thought I might turn my cameras on and let you watch my second flight. And of course, my first thought to do this kind of thing was beta flight because the flying experience in Acro mode is much better, or at least that's what I thought. So this is part of the experiment. Is it is it much better than ArduPilot? Uh, turns out it is, but the Nice thing about ArduPilot is that you're going to have GPS rescue, a uh, proper GPS rescue. Apparently the one in Betaflight is not that great, uh, but this is a really solid, dependable GPS rescue, uh, which will let me go flying around quite far away uh, without having to worry about uh, losing radio control and video and stuff. So what I thought I might do is um, I get about 15 minutes out of that battery there. So I'm curious about what that thing is down there. It looks like a shipping container that's been set up as a sort of a shed. And there's a shed there, and then there's a shed there just behind some trees over there. And I thought I might just go and look at all those sheds, maybe. Um, and I don't know if we'll get to that third one there, because it's, like I say, it's behind the trees. So that might be a bit of a test of my um, rescue mode. But anyway, let's see how it goes. And on my quad here... Yeah, so I was going to try this with my mini quad, and, and try and make a mini quad that has GPS features as well. But then I realised I just have this one. So instead of making a mini quad with GPS features, take your GPS quad and put some uh, FPV stuff on it. So we've got Runcam Eagle and then just a regular 200 milliwatt transmitter there. And for you guys to look at something we have... Why is that pointing at me? Oh, it must have turned off while I was talking. Uh, this is a DJI uh, Osmo Pocket. And you can set these to a mode called FPV, where instead of locking the horizon level, it will follow, the roll will follow um, but with nice smoothing. So hopefully it's not going to vibrate too much. I tried this last year and I put it up here in, inside some rubber bands on here and the result was absolutely terrible. Uh, but hopefully down there it might be a little bit better. So anyway, let's see how this goes. Um, taking off. You'll notice it wants to level itself. Oh, you might not be able to see it too well in the in the DJI camera, but if you look at the FPV view, when I push the pitch down and then let go... Oh, well, it's actually it stayed down that time. Yeah, but it has a tendency to want to level itself. So we're doing 50 kilometers an hour going down, so just slow down a bit here. And I'll put it into position hold about here. And well, it went up quite a bit there, didn't it? Went up so much that I can't even see the um, the shed in my FPV goggles. See if we can go down a little bit. Down, down, down. Should be right in front of us there somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. So um, obviously, if you're doing some sort of inspection, you'd want to have a proper controllable gimbal so that you could see, so that you could point the camera down. At the moment, in my FPV view, it's right at the bottom of the screen, which is not particularly useful. I can move forwards like this and then we can see it. But then we go over the top of it anyway, back into acro mode. And we'll go over here. See, the, the annoying thing about... Oh, jeez. The annoying thing about the way that it kind of self-levels a little bit is that your brain it starts to think that it is in self-level mode. At least my, that's what my brain does. But it's not in self-level mode. <laughs> it just sort of feels like it is a little bit sometimes. But as soon as your brain adjusts to that, it starts to expect it to happen all the time. And then when it doesn't happen, and you realize, oh, you're actually in acro mode, uh, that could be a little bit dangerous. But yeah, see, I'm continually having to push the nose down here. But we're making good time, so 53 kilometers an hour there. Whoop, yep, still in acro mode. Position hold 
mode like this is great to um, suddenly break. Although of course I can't see anything again now. Hopefully there's nobody there. I don't I don't know if there's there might be somebody there. Yeah, it is a shipping container, isn't it? I think. Can't tell. I think it's a shipping container. They must be uh, setting up some storage or maybe it's a pump. Because there's like a generator next to it, eh? Oh, there's another little building there that I haven't seen before. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not fly into the trees just above the water. Yeah, I'd say this, this point here is the lowest point along these... Oh. Acrobat, come on. See some birds. Unfortunately, the battery is obscuring the FPV antenna here, so I can't... I was going to follow those birds, but then as soon as I face that way, my video is too bad, I can't really see anything. If I turn around like this, I'm okay. Yeah, now we've gone behind the hill, I think, so let's just not, not get too fancy here. Yeah, what I was going to say was that this... This point right here, I think, is the lowest lowest point on this the bottom of this valley. And when it floods, it really floods quite easily because all this bit here is flat. So if you get three or four days of rain in a row, this is all covered with water quite often. So maybe they maybe they're trying to like set up some sort of a pumping station here to. Or maybe it's just to pump water up to other parts of the farm, perhaps? Anyway, oh, there's a bird again. I think, yeah. See if I can... Trouble is now I can't... Ah, they're circling with me. They might be ducks, actually. Ducks tend to do that. I don't think they're magpies because they're too grouped up. The colour looks a bit magpie-like, though, with the white on them. At least that's what it looks like to me in my view. Oh, this is great. Maybe they are magpies. Alright, so I'm 1.3 k's away. Um, let's see if I can find that other shed that I was going to look at. We're getting a bit low here behind those trees, yeah. Oh, there it is, there. Right, so this is the other shed I was going to look at, and I was saying we're going to be behind trees here if we try and do this, so position hold there. Oh, uh, we might be... Unfortunately, I think we stopped right over the top of it. Um, <laughs> I'll just go back a bit. And then hopefully if we go forward, we'll be able to see it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so... Stop here, and let's go down just a little bit. Now my video is really getting bad here. I think I'll let's just hit return to launch and see if that works properly. Well, what altitude is it going to go to? It has to climb to at least as high as to where I am here, right? So it's going to go above zero meters altitude. Five. By the way, the current is not correct. The um, amp, amp draw, not sure why it's not showing properly, but that 4.5 volts or whatever, uh, amps or whatever it's showing is, is not right. Okay, so it goes to 15 meters by the looks of it. But let's just pop back into acro mode again and we'll show you how weak the your authority is. Doesn't seem to have very good your control, and if you do a prolonged turn in your, it gets really squishy feeling. Oh, 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 oh. I think we're going a bit fast there. Seems like if you go over 50 kilometers an hour, 
you start to have problems. And I actually got an EKF uh, panic or an error at some point while I was flying this one time. And unfortunately, if you get that, um, you have no GPS control anymore. So all you can do is alt hold or land. And alt hold uh, is not very great because it's going to drift. Land is probably better, but I don't want to go and pick it up because I'm too lazy. So I think I'll just err on the side of not going over 50 k's. And should be able to see this now. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So it's 46 k's, which is fast enough. And return to launch mode is 36 k's or 10 meters per second, which is plenty. Um, but yeah, seems to be working all right. Unfortunately, my video feed is quite vibrating because I have the Runcam Eagle stuck on one of those thin aluminium like brackets, and it's stuck out on the front of the quad which tends to vibrate a little bit. There's like a PCB plate and I just screwed it into that. See, I didn't want to yaw that much. The yaw is a bit weird. But anyway, yeah, when you mount the camera like that, even if you smother it with hot glue like I did, uh, you still get a fair bit of vibration. But yeah, as far as, um, oops, let's go up a bit here, losing video. As far as the goal of being able to fly around the farm without having to worry about signal loss, as far as that goes, this is great. It's working, working beautifully. There were some goats over here before that I was harassing, but they figured out that they can just go into the trees and then I can't follow them. They're over here somewhere. I think they've gone. Yeah, but this is um, yeah, this is great. So I'm hoping that the DJI. Oh, my pocket foot. Oh, here they are. Hey. I think I'm okay to harass the goat goats because they're not really supposed to be here. But I. <laughs> I might get in trouble if I was harassing the uh, the bulls. I am but a simple goat herder. Please leave me be. Trouble is if you do this for a while they'll get used to it and then they're not scared anymore. Maybe. Is there more goats over there? Yeah, how did I miss those goats? Oh, maybe I thought they were bulls. See how they just go under the electric fence? <laughs> That's how they can just roam everywhere. Oh, losing video. Yeah! Yeah, get on. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh shit. Okay, yeah. Whoa, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, let's let's stop that now. We had some fun. We're at 10.7 volts, so I might just uh, stay a little bit closer to home now. See if we can buzz this. Uh, well, yeah, see, the, the yaw is really doesn't feel very good. It's okay when you're not trying to do anything with it, but as soon as you try and change it, it gets real squishy feeling. All right, so we're at 10.6 volts now. And I think should probably think about coming back Ugh. 
Okay, I'm just going to return, return to launch there. No, return to launch, change failed. See that? Lucky I still had video. Battery fail safe, it says. Can I do return to launch now? Okay, there we go. All right. Wow, if I didn't have video there, and I was just about to lose it because I was going down behind the side of the hill, but I probably would have just left it and returned to launch, thinking that it was going to do return to launch, and it would have crashed. So, <laughs> even with all this high-tech wizardry, you can't get too complacent, can you? But luckily I had just a little bit of video. So, was able to avoid that. Turn my hat around so you can see it landing. Lovely. Well, I think that was a success. Um, the only thing that's not very good is that the um, the feeling of flying in acro mode is not really that good. Mind you, it's not a mini quad, right? So perhaps it is still worth building a mini quad, like a five inch quad or something. Uh, that has this kind of features on it and seeing if that can fly like as well or f with as good feeling as the beta flight 5 inch quad does probably won't <laughs> but I think it's worth trying so I might try that sometime anyway thanks for watching bye